Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Been away for a while, but today I was thinking of being really nostalgic. I was sitting in my chair, I was thinking of uh, a time and a place where old school gaming uh, was a was a, a huge thing. Um, much like today, um, the time before Nintendo, before Genesis, uh, I'd like to talk about the Atari 2600. Uh, and the games that I used to play on the home console, the games that I knew for a fact in my area were popular at that time. Um, so I'm going to go through 10 games today on the Atari 2600 home console that I don't think gets a lot of uh, discussion, the kind of games that have sort of been forgotten and I'd like to revisit. <clears throat> I'm playing them today on the Arcade 1UP Nintendo cabinet just simply because... Uh, I have an old Atari 2600, but it's too difficult to dig out, drag out, connect up. And this is a fast way that I can play these games, um, get my satisfaction out of them, show them to you guys, um, and kind of uh, talk about them as I play. So I'll do a little bit of gameplay of each. You guys uh, definitely tell me what you think, and we'll get started right now. All right, so the first game on my list is uh, Keystone Capers. This game is about uh, you're you're a cop chasing a robber, and you basically have to go through three flights of uh, three floors, trying to collect as much points as humanly possible. Activision made this game. Whoops, I already screwed up. But it was one of my favorites back in the day. Um, Fairly easy to play until you get up in levels. Obviously, the first level just has some bouncing uh, red rubber balls. Taking the escalator up, in case you've never seen this. And running as fast as you can across the screen um, to try to catch the white robber, which is right there. Obviously, scoring points is the goal of the game, so you're trying to collect all the, uh, the money bags and the, the suitcases full of money while you're trying to catch this robber in the allotted time frame in the black up there. The hats are the amount of lives that you have. Um, it immediately starts on the second level. The second you catch the robber, you get more points for m the more time you have. So this one has um, treasure chests. However, they're not ones you can collect. They actually, uh, if you hit any object in here um, that isn't a money bag or a suitcase, it deducts time off your, off the allotted time you need to catch the robber. What's this one have? Red rubber balls, the, tre the treasure chest, and then, oh yeah, shopping carts. The shopping carts come flying at you in the middle of a building, which makes perfect sense, but um, the reason I like this game and most of um, the Atari 2600 classic games was because the games, these games move a little bit faster uh, than the sports games. Next game on the list is called Plaque Attack. I'm not sure if too many people know about this game, but it definitely was one of the more favorite ones, Atari 2600, when I played it. Again, another game that came out in 1983. The objective is to shoot all the food before it rots your teeth. This is a gum line. These are obviously your teeth. Um, And you only get so many shots because the tube of toothpaste, which is what you are, um, literally will run out uh, 
um, and you'll be out of things to protect your teeth. So it starts out with hot dogs, hamburgs, milkshakes, french fries. I think there's candy in there. It's been a long time since I played any of these games, but um, back in the day, we, we used to play these. See, and you can switch sides. Yep, it was french fries. Mega Mania, sort of similar to Galaga. A lot of these games are made by Activision. Um, so different, um, sort of Space Invaders, but kind of uh, faster. Any of those things hit you, you're done. very good on this game. <laughs> Next on my list is a game called uh, Fast Eddie. And uh, definitely it gets his name. Uh, so you're a little you're a little guy basically trying to sort of like Popeye. Capture all the hearts. Um, and the guy's able to run really fast. Obviously you don't want to jump into those <laughs> which are like either mushrooms or aliens or something so each heart do this you are trying to capture the key above this one up top and his legs get shorter every time um, that was stupid
he appears. And now it's tanks. The next game on the list is called Fast Food. The object of this game is uh, you are actually a mouth, which is disturbing. <laughs> but the game is fun. Um, so another game that came out in 1982, um, you're trying to eat all the food as it comes at you to score as many points as humanly possible, but do not eat the purple pickles, hot tamales, whatever you want to call them. Green pickles is fine, Doritos, chip sundaes, shakes, um, to try to obviously score as much points as humanly possible. Um, I actually, it's, like I said, it's been a long time since I played this, so I can't actually remember. Um, this obviously says it's getting fatter, and the food comes at you a hell of a lot faster. <laughs> so it's hard to actually dodge what you, the pickles that you don't want to eat. Ah! game is very fast for Atari and uh, it's amazing you don't get a seizure. <laughs> Masters of the Universe, The Power of He-Man was the next game on my list that I used to play a lot. I loved it. I loved the box. Anything that had to do with Masters of the Universe, I was all in. Um, <clears throat> not so much nowadays, but... Um, Back then, I absolutely loved this game. So you are He-Man. In your little jet, and that is supposed to be Skeletor down there. I'm not obviously I suck at this game, but I didn't care that I sucked. It's kind of a, has a defender feel to the controls. <laughs> All right, we're playing again. So we're kind of doing back and forth, just like Defender. Oh my God, I stink at this game. Well, the point of this game is you're supposed to be shooting at, uh, Skeletor, who's shooting, those are lightning bolts, at you, and bombing him. Alright, next game on my list is a game called Taz, which is short for Tasmanian Devil. <clears throat> and you are basically the spinning tornado. And you are trying to obviously collect as much of the food as you can moving up and down the screen. And not grab the dynamite. Which, like so. <laughs> And as the levels go higher, obviously the food changes that you're trying to grab. Dang. Spider-Man is the next game on my list. 
I was never any good at this, but the object of the game is to climb the building, try to capture as many of the people hanging out of the window as possible by swinging into them, um, and get to the top of the building. <clears throat> And not fall. <laughs> the red bar on the lower right side is actually your life bar. Um, basically holding the, the single button down and holding it allows you to retract your web. Seems like a fairly simple game, but it's Atari 2600, so uh, even if this is, you know, literally two to four bit graphics at best, these games were damn near impossible to master. <laughs> but that's what we used to have as kids, and uh, this was the extent of our fun. Give this one last shot, and then we'll move on. Dead! Now, Towering Inferno was uh, another one that can't say this was my favorite game. Basically, they take control of the chopper, they bring you into a burning building, and your object is to put out the fire and get to. Whoops. Get to the top, hose out the, the window here, because when you came through the chopper and you saw the building and the fire was coming out of it, that's the fire that was So obviously we got that first floor, so now we're trying to basically um, get to the next floor. Because some of these floors you will just not get to. die along the way, it doesn't give you credit. Come on. And then it, to kick, kick the wind, basically holes out the window, it allows you to escape to the next floor, the next floor, the next floor. Last but not least, on the Atari 2600 that were the most played in my household growing up was Mousetrap. Now I know a lot of people know about this game, um, and I do know that there was an actual arcade game made of this, but um, in that regard, this was popular on the home console. Mm -hmm. So you start out obviously as the mouse. Oh shit. Um, certain dog biscuits allowed you to become the dog. <laughs> mentions I'd like to mention uh, this one game called Berserk and this was a popular one basically you're a man and you're trying to shoot the robots um, walk around the screen and then uh, 
going from screen to screen, up, down, left, right, wherever the gates are open. Obviously, don't hit the sidewalls. <laughs> Carnival, another very popular game in the arcade uh, that was brought home to the Atari 2600. Ducks and bunnies, owls, and of course, uh, these things come flying out after you, if you, uh, especially the ducks, <laughs> if you're, if you take too long trying to shoot all of them. Like so. Another very simple game, it's all about points. Not much to it. Dolphin was another game. Uh, henceforth, <laughs> the obvious name of Dolphin. There's a huge ass octopus trying to basically tra trap you down. Treat. Here we go. So you. You can jump the barriers. And obviously if the octopus catches you. And last but not least, a game that everybody knows, uh, an old classic, uh, Pitfall. Used to be a big hit in the house. Oh my god. Nothing like that classic music. Well, that's it for me today, guys. Uh, I hope you like this. I hope this brought back some old school nostalgia for you on the 2600. Um, I know that this isn't ideal to play these on this uh, arcade one-up Nintendo modded cabinet, but it was the easiest for me. I do have an original 2600 with the original cartridges, but n without a word of lie, it was just too much of a pain to dig that out and um, and connect everything to, to do a quick video on you guys. Uh, looking at some of the old school games, and this was just an easier way to play it. Um, please let me know what your games were, that if you were part of the 2600 um, age bracket and uh, love playing those games, um, please let me know what they are. L put them down in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one, and I hope you have a great day.